I love this Super Mario World 2 music so much. I just really love it. I love how it's the in it's the title screen music too. Mario. Kart. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Super Mario World 2. I almost thought I was playing Super Mario World 2. Let's start over. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Paper Mario. In the last part, we uh saved all the Yoshi kids, and in this part, we're gonna go towards the jungle. Because, uh, let's just say they said that the uh, Jade Raven was going to be placed in front. So, it definitely is not too far of a, uh, a uh, maneuver. So, um, it's actually this statue right here that we could not actually access beyond before. But, yeah, we do need sushi. So, um, it's a good thing she joined us fully. We placed a Jade Raven in there. I can feel the rumble on the Switch Pro Drill because, like, I never own, I don't own a rumble pack, so I don't, I barely know what the rumble is like for a lot of these N64 games. We're just going there fully. Like, there should be a star piece again eventually, but, um. Uh, get over here. It's a little bit of a puzzle, but, like, I like to, like, keep that one, that one to the up to the right next to the rock at all times. Then get rid of that one. Up and up here. Eventually. I love this music also, by the way. Paper Mario's got an amazing soundtrack. Maybe not as amazing as Earthbound, but I still think it's one of the best N64 soundtracks. It's this one right here. Yeah, so there's a star piece over here. So thank God we need the I Spy Badge. The I Spy Badge is drastically helpful finding all these hidden star pieces. Roar! Switch to... Actually, it's just a bomb at. I don't use her very much. There's also a new enemy in this fight, so it's certainly a mini boss fight. So um, we're gonna have to kill these enemies. Um, this is the Magic Koopa. Uh, this is the first time we see Magic Koopa as a normal fight, but they will uh, aid the other enemies or just run away if they're the only one left. And we're going to power bomb them, and all of them are taken out. Go over halfway to a level up. That's really solid. Anyway, so if we go in here, there's the tree where Raphael the Raven lives. I love this fucking music, brother. Let's give it a listen. I just love it so much. But um, anyway, make sure you grab this uh, happy heart right here. We're going to go up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And there right here is Raphael the Raven. I'm gonna test this. What does Goombario have to say about him? He's Raphael the Raven, the guardian of this jungle. Look at the size of this guy. He's enormous. I bet there's nothing he can't do. He doesn't seem trustworthy. I guess Mario knows who he is. I guess Mario saw him as a baby, so like I don't know if he'd remember him. Oh, welcome. Sorry if I'm so surprised, but I can't even remember the last time someone came up here. Sure been a while. What? Oh yes, affirmative. I'm the master of this island. Call me call sign Raphael the Raven. If you have any problems at all, just let me know, okay? Go ahead and with it. Ah, oh, so you're Mario. I see. Roger that. You can't find any way to reach the volcano, that is. Yeah, that's a problem. Not for me, though. I'll help. To be honest with you, I knew you'd ask something like that. I got a message from the stars, so I knew you were coming. I've got something exceptional to give you that ought to help you on your way. But that's for later. Right now, let's take care of the volcano problem, okay? Okay. Ka -ka -ka -ka. 
excellent response time, Ravens. We got some work to do. I'll brief you only one, so I want your full attention. And it must be done just as quickly as possible, got it? I should hope so. Let's move on, Raven. Follow me. We go down with them, and we survived the fall because we landed on the tree. Heave ho! Come on, then. We just have to follow Raphael the Raven out, out there, so, um... Thankfully, Raphael the Raven is not a boss fight in this game. He was a boss fight in Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Aye, aye, all right. Is everyone ready? Now, oh, Ravens, get to work. This won't take long. Hmm, what in blazes? A caw caw. Finished caw. Roger, you can reach the volcano now. Oh, top notch, really. Or oh, repair, we can do the volcano, dear boy. What luck, my other. I, I shan't decay another moment. The ancient treasures are calling me onward. That Koopa, what a maverick, charging into the volcano. He's bold, I give him that. Bold is certainly nuts. But enough about that. I want to give you that important now I was talking about. Here, take it. Get the Ultra Show. I'm showing you the Ultra Rank one of your party members. That's an Ultra Show. I found it a long time ago in the depths of the Shangle. Now you have this, you can find, when you find a super block and you upgrade one of your party members from super rank to ultra rank. Fans in your memory, your party will be key to your success, trust me. That's why a star spirit told me in a dream. Use it and prosper. I've got to go now, over and out. I guess we can tackle Mount Lava Lava on Rails. That's the last batch of this chapter, so, um... Let's we'll have to use this heal block first, but um, let's do a battery of evolution. Uh, we got power bounds, we got power quake, we got ice power, we got close call, we got last stand. I think we got some pretty solid badge lineup, so um, definitely help this part of the game. Now, there's gonna be lava in this area, also. Identifies Mario, alert, report boss alert, alert. Just to let you know, this area can be pretty challenging if you go in here unprepared. Hmm, I sense danger here. All adventures are dangerous, so it's what are you? We must press on towards the glory of unknown treasure. Ah! Oh, what's wrong with this rock? It sank right in the lava. Wait, talk to him. Who's uh, after you go ahead or rather sit thing here? Now, if we touch the lava, we lose one bit of HP, so be very careful in this area. I think with, I think this is like the last video I'll record in the recording session. I'm out of fun. These are new enemies, by the way. New enemies. Now, um, these enemies are normally a pain in the ass, and they are a pain in the ass, but we got the ice power badge, so um, they'll go down in one go. You only do two star points, though. Yeah, if you time it just right, your party members can block attacks, but they will attack your party members. We only have four star points. We are a little over level for this point in the game. We just haven't we just haven't had an HP increase yet. I think I might increase HP going into chapter six, though. I think my next, actually come to think of it, I think my next level up will be an HP increaser, but um, by the way, remember Kubro's Fortress? If we go with these things, we jump them like hot rope jump. Get coins out of them. 
We might have to get more coins in the uh, upcoming town. I, we, I think we should be good. I don't think we have to go to the Toe Town playground. Because we only have really have a, ha a handful of badges left to get in uh, Ralph's badge shop. I think the Chapter 6 badge batch is the last. See the Chapter 6 or Chapter 7. I think it's Chapter 6, actually. So um, we're doing pretty good. We just sell a couple of case here. So yeah, I don't think we have to go to the Toe Town playground anymore. But there's one more thing we have to sh I'd like to show in the Toe Town playground. So um, we're going to ultra rank one of the party members now. I recommend Sushi being the first party member you ultra rank. And I, you're going to see why when we get to the boss. Gucci's now alt rank, which means she learns an entirely new wave called Tidal Wave. Entirely new move called Tidal Wave. So, um, very solid. These are new enemies. And, uh, yeah, we'll just put, we'll just power quake them. They're like the, uh, Buzzy Beetles, only that they're stronger and they have spikes, but one power quake will take them out. But yeah, I think my next level up is going to be an HP increaser because I think I might need 15 HP for the boss. We'll play it by ear. Just, uh... First of all, let's get rid of, let's get rid of that guy over here. I think we can just, um... Yeah, he does three damage, so, um... One hammer assassin to take this guy out, though. Wait, no, it's not. I completely miscalculated, but we'll go into danger strats. We got 69 star points, so um, I don't want to go back out of danger strats. So um, we don't have any life terms, so it's either like make or break. It's either like I go past this and um. This is the fire shield badge. It lets us attack fire enemies, but it's a little inferior to the ice power badge, in my opinion. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, we can't attack the bubbles. So, um, thankfully we have last stand on, so we'll only increase, do half of the damage. So, um, yeah, we should be pretty fine. Yeah, as long as we block, we'll take no damage. So, um, yeah, we'll just do it normally. We don't even have to power quake. Because they, they don't have many, much HP. Right, so we got some more coins. So, um... What we're going to do now is uh, go left. We're going to need Paracarry for the next part also. Now uh, we're going to need Paracarry to lift, lift their ass off there, across there. Now we're gonna go left and let's get Sushi back. Actually, no, we still need pair carry. So um, we're gonna go with this guy right here. Make sure to line it up. Also, I think it's like um, I think it's over here. Yeah, we just have to um, let's get Sushi back out. Oh, Magic Koopa. Let's show Susie's new move, Tidal Wave. I want to take out that Magic Koopa. He can cause nothing but trouble. That's also a Magic Koopa on a broom. So, um, show Susie's new time move. I was trying to do a trick where, like, you press like C the C buttons and like A and B, but that didn't really work. I only did one damage, thankfully. So, um, probably should have attacked the, uh, 
Actually, I'll just take I'll, one more squirt. We'll take it out. Dude, you can't belly flop fire enemies though, but um. Anyway, so. Anyway, so one more battle will get us a level up, so that's really solid. So, um, if we go over here, we get another then. We get the Ultra Hammer. The Attack Power Mario's Hammer increases. On top of that, we can down destroy metal blocks. So, you now can destroy these things that were in our way in the, the last part. So, um, we have to get a Paracarry out. So, um, I want to get into one more battle so we can, uh, level up. Take out this. So, um, First of all, we gotta use pair carry to go across the lava. New enemy also. Actually, certainly not a new enemy, but um. Oh shit. I might be screwed. Because these have 12 HP, so um, we'll take out one of them. Oh yeah, we got really lucky right there. So um we're gonna jump on the lava bubble, and I think we should actually no, we're not gonna level up. Never mind. I'm I'm gonna miscalculate it right there. Unfortunately though, we don't really we can't really heal FP, so um actually yes we can. We only have three FP though, so um I guess we have to um if we go over here we get the sh the dizzy stomp badge. If uh it works, it makes enemies become dizzy. It's not a badge you can really use very much. I can switch back to sushi though. Um because paracarrier at least can't at least yet can't attack all enemies. I think I'm gonna count Mount I think I'm gonna cut Mount Lava Lava in two, so um Once we uh, go here, we're gonna say, um, yes, excellent now, Mario. No gun here, onward to glory. So, um, we're gonna cut it off as part of Paper Mario. So next time Paper Mario, we're gonna do none other than go, we're gonna finish Mount Lava Lava. See you guys then.